This video explains how to change the letter case of the column names in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains two columns, which are called call one and call two. And you can also see that some of the letters in the column names are lowercase and other letters in the column names are uppercase. So let's assume that we want to convert all of the letters in our column names to uppercase. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line six. So in this line of code, I'm using the names function to extract the column names from our data frame. And then I'm converting these names to uppercase using the to upper function. And I'm replacing the old names by the converted new names. So if you run line six of the code, you can see that our data frame is updated by printing the data frame once again to the RStudio console. And now you can see that the column names of our new data frame have been converted to uppercase. Similar to that, we can use the to lower function to convert all the letters in our column names to lowercase, as you can see in line nine of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using basically the same syntax as in line six. The only difference is that I'm using the to lower function instead of the to upper function. So if you run line nine of the code, our data is updated once again, as you can see by printing it once again to the RStudio console. And now you can see that the new column names of our updated data frame have been converted to lowercase. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.